first calculation shown there is for AC analysis R prime E. How much? 52. No change. Why no change? Because it is 25 millivolts, which is a constant. That 25 millivolts has nothing to do with an input signal. It is just something that works that, that internal AC resistance sim simplifies to 25 millivolts divided by this current here. So 25 millivolts divided by IE is R prime E. Okay? So that's 52 ohms. Let's find AV now. What is AV? I go to page three. Go to page three. Page three, voltage gain, common emitter amplifier with bypass capacitor with load resistor. Which case is it? Is it four or is it, um, yeah, it's four, isn't it? Case four. So what's the equation there? RC in parallel with RL. This RC in parallel with RL, and I'll show you in a few minutes how, why that is the case. So let's first do the calculations. RC in parallel with RL divided by R prime E plus RE1, okay? Because of this bypass capacitor, RE2 is not in my calculation. Okay, so let's let's calculate A B this time with a load. R C was 12K in parallel with R L we said is given to be 10K divided by 52 plus 100. Okay. So parallel, 12K in parallel with 10K is product over sum, right? So how much is 12K in parallel with 10K? What is the final answer? You can give me the final answer. 30, 36, 36 is my gain. So previously the gain was 79, okay? Previously, without RL in example two, the gain was 79. Now it has dropped a little from 79 to 36. Did anybody not get 36? Anybody dispute that answer? Okay, we'll use the value of 36 then. Okay, so now let's calculate V out. V out is AV times V in. AB, which is again, is V out over V in, and that's how we find V out. So that's 36 times 50 millivolts, which is how much? 1.8 volts peak. Okay, 50 millivolts is peak, so V out is peak. 1.8 volts peak. So now, I draw my two graphs, before and after C out. Before C out, after C out. I'm mainly interested in the uh, value after the C out, okay? Not really before C out. Before C out is just learning about what is happening to that voltage in the circuit. Okay, show the zero. This is V out. The first thing I show is VC, which is the same VC I use there, which is 9.2 volts. But this time, the signal is 1.8 volts. So I'll show it a little smaller. And so it's 9.2 plus 1.8, 9.2 plus 
minus 1.8. You see that? And that's at the collector, OK? This is at the collector. Right here. If I measure the voltage there on a scope, that's what I would see. I would see something like this. It would be with a DC offset. After C out, here, because of the capacitor, the DC is blocked, and all I see is the AC part. So that's 1.8 plus and 1.8 minus. Okay, so we're going to add an example four at the bottom of page 13. So, example four, bottom of page 13. Okay, so what am I saying? This is what I'm saying. 